Learning to drive and preparing for a road test isn't hard. It's just 4,227 simple things, often in sequential order. <laughs> Today, we're going to show you how to do right-hand turns correctly for both passing a driver's test and being a safer, smarter driver. Stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Quick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about right-hand turns for the purposes of passing a driver's test. First of all, if you're not comfortable with the steering wheel and how much you need to turn the steering wheel for turns left and right, go to the parking lot, do your slow speed maneuvers and work on that. It will teach you mastery of the primary controls, which is the steering wheel, the throttle and the brake, and how much you need to turn the steering wheel, how much you need to apply the brake and the throttle for doing this. I can't emphasize that enough if you're just getting in the vehicle and just getting going. We're going to do our first turn at an uncontrolled intersection and you don't have to come to a stop for an uncontrolled intersection. You simply need to slow the vehicle 8 to 10 miles an hour or 12 to 15 kilometers an hour. Near signal shoulder check approximately half a block before the turn. Get your gear if you're in a manual transmission. If you're in automatic you're fine. Scan the intersection, mirror signal shoulder check and proceed around the corner and you can let the steering wheel slide through your hands to bring it back and then you just correct a little bit and then put both hands back on the steering wheels but you got to keep your your palms in contact with the steering wheel so steps for the turn locate the turn scan the intersection is the turn legal in most cases it is going to be legal if it's a right hand turn position the vehicle to the right as far as possible note any bicycle lanes whether the road markings are solid or dashed or whether you can move into the bicycle lane. If it's solid, you can't. All right, so mirror signal shoulder check approximately half a block between before the turn. Positioning the vehicle, it's a two-way stop sign. Okay, positioning the vehicle to the right, as close to the snowbank. It's not stopping behind the stop line. Scanning, moving forward so I can see the intersection. No other road users scanning the intersection and we're proceeding. correcting the steering wheel, looking in the direction we want to go, and accelerate. The other thing you can do to help you out is to put a piece of tape at the top of your steering wheel so that you can keep track of the steering wheel at a glance. It's a really great tool for new drivers who are learning how to drive to keep track of the steering wheel. Right turn at a two-way intersection, major road over minor road, and it's offset, so it's straight through over turning traffic, right turning traffic over left turning traffic. So we stop behind the stop line, creep forward, no pedestrians, there's a vehicle coming, and we can proceed after the, after the vehicle, and shoulder checking immediately before. Looking where we want the vehicle to go, let the steering wheel correct, both hands on the steering wheel, looking the way we wanna go and proceed. The piece of the car that holds the windshield up and is the door, on the passenger side, that's the A-pillar. When that piece of the car is in line with the curb on the cross street, that's when you start turning the vehicle. So I come out here, it's in line, now I turn the vehicle, and I look in the direction that I wanna go. Remember, the vehicle will go where you're looking. Okay, right turn at a four-way stop, mirror signal shoulder check. Stopping behind the stop line because the vehicle in front of me has proceeded. There's a bicycle lane there with a solid line. And we move forward and we proceed. Shoulder checking before we proceed. Turning the steering wheel, keep palms in contact with the steering wheel. Correct it a little bit, look in the direction you want to go and accelerate. Mirror signal shoulder check, four way stop, locating the intersection. First, ve first vehicle to arrive or the vehicle on your right if you're unsure. Stopping completely at the stop line, scanning the intersection, mirror signal shoulder check, scanning and we proceed. That other vehicle was going straight through so we weren't interfering with them when we were turning right. If you're learning how to drive and beginning to drive and learning how to do your right hand turns, do them in a residential area because you can see there's a lot going on in a very short period of time, within half a block. The other technique that you can employ when you first get started and first try doing this, because there's a lot going on with the mirror signal shoulder check, scanning intersections, locating intersections, what kind of intersection is it, controlled, uncontrolled, traffic lights, slip lanes, those types of things. Start 
back farther. So instead of at a half a block, start back at a block. And as you get more competent with all the steps involved with your right hand turn, reduce that distance from the intersection when you begin to initiate your right hand turn. Because otherwise when you're brand new and you're starting and you're a half a block, there's just too much going on for you to get it all done in that short space of time. So two way stop, locating the intersection, mirror signal shoulder check, moving the vehicle to the right, just right left of the snowbank, stopping behind the stop line. There's a pedestrian, there's a car coming, turning. I have the right of way because I'm turning right at a two way intersection. The person behind me on the other side is turning left. The other vehicle is turning, so I'm going to proceed. And that was a little challenging because there was a railway crossing right after it and you had to scan the railway crossing. All right, turning right here with a, with the turning lane. We want to get in the turning lane as soon as possible. Mirror signal shoulder check. Not getting into the snowbank, stopping behind the stop line. And we can turn right on a red light. So long as we stop at the correct position, give way to all other road users, those vehicles are turning and we proceed. And one more stipulation on turning right on a red light, make sure that there aren't any signs that prohibit you making a right hand turn on a red light. If you're on a driver's test and you're not comfortable making a right turn on a red light, you can wait for the green. You don't have to go. What? Yes, that's what I said. You can wait for the green. Trust me. <laughs> Examiners told me to go right at the next intersection. I got my signal on to lane change, mirror signal shoulder check, dotted line, I'm good. Signal off, scanning the intersection, it's a complex intersection. I have right slip lanes, half a block, mirror signal shoulder check, scanning the intersection. And I can see the object marker sign. I stop before the crosswalk. There's a woman, but I can move out in front. The pedestrian is good. And I can proceed in shoulder checking. And I don't have to do much manipulation on the steering wheel because it was a nice gentle turn there. Okay, mirror signal shoulder check. No slip lane here at the complex intersection. I have a bike lane, solid line, scanning, checking, nobody, and we're good. And on that solid line, do not cross over that. That's demerits on your driver's test, okay? For some of the states, they will have dotted lines for the bicycle lane and you can move into that, but ensure that you check and double check that there are no cyclists in that lane or pedestrians or other road users on what skateboards and those types of things. Uncontrolled intersection, I have lots of pedestrians here. Bike lane, do not cross into the bike lane. Once the pedestrians are halfway in the next lane, I can proceed, mirror signal shoulder check, or shoulder checking, the signal's already on, and correcting, and we proceed. For another video, click here. To subscribe, click here. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.